we were exploring some of the older tech manuals and some of the older source materials uh, from the late 80s, early 90s on um, a great Battletech Facebook group. There's a lot of really amazing groups uh, that are up on Facebook, especially with painting and modeling and customization. It, it's really, it really gives you a lot of great ideas uh, when you're looking to evolve your mech collection. And they had a typical company of mechs. You know, you had a command lance, you had a support lance, a fire lance, uh, one or two other lances, and then there was a recon lance. And uh, the four mechs in the recon lance, this is what we were kind of debating tactically and, and maybe the thought process behind it. If we had to put a thought process behind it, I mean, the, the tech manual, maybe they just wanted to showcase some mechs, but then I was thinking the tactics, expanding it, this type of thing where, well, here, here were the four mechs. This is a recon lance. No support vehicles, no combined arms, just mechs. Uh, it had a wasp, a stinger, I believe a locust, and a rifleman. And people were looking at it, and at, at first glance, it's like, well, why the heck would you put a rifleman in there? I mean, maybe a Phoenix Hawk if you wanted a heavier mech. Phoenix Hawk's uh, really a fantastic mech, and it could pull recon, and it could certainly... Uh, throw its literal tonnage around and its weight around and its weapons around against other recon mechs that are engaging. But but why a rifleman? Well, I, I ultimately don't know. But it was an interesting exercise because we looked at it from the perspective, you're a mech commander, you've been assigned to recon, here's the lance under your control, be thankful you have any type of mechs whatsoever. And my thought was, well, okay, rifleman, I know in the lore it's anti-air, but it wants to play at tabletop non-combined arms as as a support mech. Now, one could argue there's better choices, uh, say like a Jaeger mech or a Blackjack on there. But in playing that, my thought was the, the light mechs are going to, if we're on a hex map, and I don't know, I'm scouting out your base or I, I got to break through your back lines. Uh, basically, I'm going to be doing a lot of run and gunning. I need... When I'm pursued by other light mechs, the, the thought process is, well, how are you going to stop them from pursuing you? Um, how are you going to stop some of those medium mechs from pursuing you? You do that with some fire support on there. You don't want to stop with your light mechs. You need to keep them moving. They've got a couple of pop guns on there, you know, light laser, some machine guns, maybe some lower missiles. Yeah, you could do custom rounds on the missiles for the lulls. But going into a, a hot area contested recon zone, you're going to be taking a lot of heat. And to have something that's somewhat long range with some tonnage, with some tonnage to, to fight back on there, that, that, that's how I see a rifleman holding that role. Now, adjusting up or down, I mean, I know I just said this is the lance you get. That's what you, you, you have. Um, my thought was if I could tinker with it and I need to say battle value and tonnage, something like a blackjack would work. It could work if I was saving battle value. Otherwise, I would stick with the rifleman. Um, if I really had my way, a longbow, an archer, something with LRMs to, to reach out and also just take advantage of that indirect fire goodness on there. Because if you've got that many lights running around uh, going crazy in your back ranks, your back deployment zone, like somebody's going to spot for something on there. And it would be uh, flexibly more tactical to have a missile boat where you could shoot direct if you had to, but also leverage some indirect. So I'm going to put you guys tactically. We've got we've got the hollow map up. We're checking things out. The command lance is is asking for feedback. You have that recon lance. How would you play the rifleman in it?